just want to make a blog to talk about how awful I feel. I have some kind of medical condition where it's uh, affecting my digestion. Yesterday, I overate some food as uh, oatmeal or something, and I spent a lot of time sitting. And it was fine. I felt okay. I mean, my stomach makes noises now in the gut regions. Like maybe it's an air issue that's winding its way through all them tubes. But when the library closed at 5 and I went out to my car to sit, I started feeling a welling up in my chest as a tightness that I thought would go away on its own. And I mean, I, I have had... I've experienced that stuff before, so it's uh, familiar. Um, I know it's never good. I, I fought it though. I, I would have moved um, out of this, out of my sitting position in the car like I am now, uh, but there was a lady who was uh, next uh, in her car playing on the computer, and I, I felt like I didn't want to move until she was gone. So she left, and then I I got up, and it was just such a welling in my chest that it's hard to breathe in deep so it's been 24 hours roughly and it's gone down just a little bit but it got bad last night and into the morning but it, it uh i tried um like the stomach stretch where you pull it down i've tried different little stretching positions i even went with the uh ginger garlic and cayenne pepper just attack just uh, attacking uh, with a, with the heated herbs which I don't know they can give a little bit of relief to try to get through that that stagnation in the the upper torso middle burner area they didn't really help a lot though still a little tight in there I just I can't decide if I'm suffering a variable angina or if it's a hiatal hernia. It's a, it, I could feel it, like I've been eating bananas today, I could feel it when I swallow each banana, or even when I swallow water, I could feel a tightness. I think I've developed a pocket in my esophagus, so that'd be a hiatal hernia in the upper portion of the, the stomach or lower portion of the esophagus. But that's causing a kind of a angina. It may not be blocking in my veins or arteries, but my esophagus could be pushing on my heart and or the one of the the output veins or input veins arteries whatever and I, there's some kind of tightness in there that's really uh, impeding my my ability to to be functional it's it's taken a lot of energy from me it's reduced activities I just kind of um, stuck sitting in my car all day in a Walmart parking lot and I'll say I think I've brought it on to myself once again I haven't been doing exercises like I've wanted to do I've mainly just been only bicycling and sitting and sitting in the library and it's not too uh, much activity beyond that so I, I usually try to get in some kind of like more picnic table fitness or or suspension training or even like like wider stance squats with my squat strap thing but I, I wasn't able to do any of that it's just been bicycling and, and then sitting for long periods because the library doesn't offer any privacy <clears throat> some libraries offer a, a bathroom you can lock yourself into and then that's when I could do like squats or something or there's a nice picnic table nearby and it's dry out so I could do some uh, some uh, picnic table fitness Either way, I've uh, brought it on myself. Also, uh, my diet has been kind of restricted to potatoes and, and uh, oats. And let me just say, those potatoes are hard to swallow down. Dehydrated potatoes, I could feel the struggle every time I swallow those hard potatoes. There's, I mean, I could eat the same mouthful of oats, no problem. But when I eat potatoes, it, it feels tight in my esophagus. I don't know why that is, but it's not good. I mean, I've, I've put, there's just a variable about, amount of things. It could be the environment. It could be, I've been consuming a lot of chocolate. Uh, when I get tired, I'll consume chocolate, and that wakes me up. 
But either way, uh, this is one of the worst tightenings in my chest I've felt. A congestion that's really taken a long time to, to relieve itself, to resolve itself. So just kind of taking it easy until I, I can get this to pass. <laughs> yeah.